In preparation for an upcoming project, I'm preparing my own charcoal. I'm starting a project that I want to be very organic, so I'm making my own supplies. And the first thing I want to start with is making charcoal. I'm making charcoal out of these pieces of wood. This is grapevine leaf and a piece of pine that has been cut into little lumps. So charcoal is created by burning the wood in this five gallon drum and we're going to remove the oxygen from that. But I want to put it in this five gallon bucket and my husband has put uh, five nails in the top of this bucket lid and I'm removing those nails so that moisture will be released when I stick this five gallon bucket into the fire. So Let's tap the lid on tightly and stick that into the fire that I've started here on my deck. And we're going to let that burn for about three hours. So it's going to burn in the fire. And as you can see, by looking at that flame coming out of those five holes that we've punched, that that moisture is releasing itself in the form of fire and steam from inside that bucket. See the steam coming up there? So all of that moisture is being removed from the wood and in burning it, sitting it here for three hours, we are going to create the charcoal. These sticks are going to turn into sticks of charcoal. So once it's been on the fire three hours, I'm going to set it and I'm going to let it cool until it is completely cool to the touch, maybe even overnight. So we're going to set it here and let it just completely cool off. Once completely cooled, I have put, or once it started to cool, I put those uh, nails back in so that it was cooling with those holes um, closed. So now that it's ready to be opened, let's open up the lid of this can and see what we have. That's my husband opening up the can. Under my, my instruction, I'm sure, I'm telling him what to do. I, I don't know how that happens, but sure enough. And here we have a five gallon bucket full of charcoal sticks and they're all you know, they're the thicker sticks from the pine bark and these thin sticks from the grapevine. And to the grapevine, just so you know, I had an old grapevine wreath that I wasn't using and I, I <laughs> you know, just cut that into all of those little strips and that's where I had my grapevine. My husband has a grape arbor and every year we trim that and we roll it into uh, grapevine wreaths. But here's how the charcoal works. So that work, it works really nicely. It is going to make a great gift, I think, for, for other artists like me that like to use natural things. And I am so pleased that you join, are joining me in this process of getting ready for my organic type journal. And I hope you will stick with me and join me throughout that process as well. So bye for now.